What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome back. Welcome back or if you're new here, welcome. This is one of those intros 1 in 50 that I do mess up. <laughs> what is up you guys? Part 2 to my RV3 chill kill full album reaction. Three tracks to go through. Went through Knock Knock, Underwater, and Will I Ever See You Again in my part one. Go and check that out if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to keep up with all the parts with me because it's going to be one of the biggest albums of this year for sure. It already is in the track list right here so you guys can see where we're at and who the producers, lyricists, all that is. I feel like we're going to get a really good mix of the red concept and velvet concept from these three just judging by the titles. I think I'm really going to enjoy Nightmare. I obviously see Kaze Opeo who I've been mentioning all throughout these reactions, but also Ellen Berg, really love as a producer. And also just Nightmare, they finally have a song called Nightmare. Like you'd think they would have one called that by now, right? Red Velvet Nightmare, three, two, one. Oh, I feel like I'm like in a horror, like circus. Ooh. Wait, this is ethereal. Oh. Wait, I think this is gonna be my favorite. Wait. What's gonna happen? Baby, bye bye. What? Yes, I was about to say, please let the next one be Irene. Yeri and Irene rap after choruses are just so iconic. Baby, bye bye. This song in itself is a perfect combination of red and velvet. I thought it'd be a completely velvet song. I thought it'd be just dark. They're really back, aren't they? Like, it still hasn't registered. Like, they're back. Like, hearing these songs is insane. Like, we have five songs left on the album iced coffee one kiss bulldozer wing scenery iced coffee now alina smith has produced this alina smith um this is a liar if i'm not mistaken so wow she finally has a song that made it to red velvet i'm so happy for her let's see what this is gonna be iced coffee three 
two, one. Velvet actually, but you guys know what I mean. It's interchangeable. Oh. Wow, she's written so many like pop R and B songs. More of them, like even energetic ones, or like girl touchy. I'm surprised this one made it. This is like a R and B ballad, right? last b-side from this part of the reactions you see that the producers from this are almost completely identical to nightmare so let's see what they did for this one one kiss three two one one kiss Yes, 
This is definitely because it could have been on the birthday album as well. I think these lyrics are my favorite ones in the whole song. It sounds like they're coming for someone's I think this is my favorite B-side song out of all of them. This and Underwater. Oh my god. This was insanely good. This was insanely good. Well, seriously, definitely my favorite B-side from the album so far. Like at this point, I don't even remember what Underwater sounded like, even if that was like 20 minutes ago, <laughs> just because I'm just going through the songs. Wow, that was really good, guys. I wasn't expecting that. When I saw the track list, I was thinking it was gonna be the songs, you know, it's usually the songs with like the, I don't know, more interesting titles that will get you sometimes. So for me, I was really thinking that it was gonna be like Nightmare Wings, which we still have to get to. Nightmare Wings, Iced Coffee. <gasps> also, I didn't see One Kiss was arranged by Moonshine. Oh my God, that makes so much sense. Moonshine also arranged Chill Kill as well with Kenzie, so the two songs on this album, Chill Kill and One Kiss, that were arranged by Moonshine. I hope that you guys enjoyed the part two reaction. One more to go. Three songs, Bulldozer Wings, Scenery. I wonder what they're gonna be like. I hope to see you guys in the next reaction. This is going so good so far. See you guys in the part three. Bye-bye.